Alright, so I've got an Ableton quick tip here for you guys. I'm going to show you how to quickly extract a groove, create a groove template from it, and use that groove template on other tracks in your arrangement. So I imported a drum loop, and I took this drum loop from our House Drum Loops Volume 1 sample set, and then I laid a lead synth over top of it. Now the problem I'm running into is that I quantized this lead synth to a 1 16th grid at 100% and it's a little too rigid for the drum loop. It doesn't quite sync up well. So what I need to do is extract this groove information from this drum loop here and if I just click on it and drag it into my groove pool, Ableton will begin to extract this information. So you can see now it's extracting and once it's finished, it'll create a template for me here in my groove pool. Now I'm not going to cover the parameters of the groove pool too much in this video because I have that coming in a later video and that's kind of a whole nother monster in itself. Uh, but you'll see my groove here and what I want to do is apply this groove to that synth lead. So if I just click on my clip here and I scroll down to my clip editor there's groove and then there's a drop down menu. So I just click on that drop down menu and choose my groove template. So now that groove is active. So that just tightened things up a bit. You know, it's a subtle difference. Uh, but it's important in getting that head nod factor, especially when you're working with loops. You know, if you can extract that groove template and use that template when you add in other elements, uh, it really keeps everything tight and in sync. My name is Slick Nixon, and check us out at SiliconBeats.com.